Somebody else is on the moon. NASA has kept a secret for a whole generation. Now we know NASA has landed. Russia has also given us images from the far side showing structures. But also China has recently given us images of shards on the moon. This is on Humans Are Free. Science ancient, since ancient times. Science since ancient times. In the past, Carl Sagan has also told us that the moon would be a good satellite for ETs to be observing Earth, especially having bases on the far side, which we can never see. Now, since ancient times, people have studied the moon with the gaze of a researcher, hoping to see something unusual and unearthly. What awaited a man on the moon in the early 60s of the last century was contained in the so-called Brookings Report. In that work, in fact, the discovery of evidence of an extraterrestrial civilization on the moon was predicted. There was the prospect of mastering the scientific and technological achievements of an off-Earth civilization that was on the moon. In the 1977 book published by UK George Leonard titled Somebody Else on the Moon, he said, who is hiding under the pseudonym of J, J uh, sorry, G. Leonard is unknown. In any case, this is a well-informed person who managed to gain access to extensive, inclusive, top-secret information. 35 photos, each of which is accompanied by a NASA code number, dozens of detailed drawings made, according to the author, from high-quality, large-format NASA photographs published in this book, the statements of experts and an extensive bibliography lead the reader to a stunning conclusion. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details. And in the studying box the, below. the uh, evidence in this book, which is 1977, of course, since then we've had mountains of evidence of images of uh, structures on the moon. So, 35 photos inspired, accompanied by NASA code numbers, published in this book, and the statements of experts and extensive bibliography lead the reader to uh, the conclusion. NASA and many world famous scientists have known for many years that signs of intelligent life have been found on the moon. But the information about this is carefully hidden. The world community did not attach much importance to this book, considering the material in it to be unproven. But at the beginning of 1996, sensational, fantastic information on the moon, there are traces of the oldest and clearly extraterrestrial civilization was confirmed. The news, was, the news was announced in Washington at a press conference by Ken Johnson, the former head of NASA's Lunar, Lunar Laboratory Photo Service, as well as several other former NASA engineers and scientists. So they confirmed that the moon had traces of the oldest and clearly extraterrestrial civilizations. Now the main topic was NASA's cover-up of Apollo images showing ancient lunar ruins. Ken Johnson told about what was carefully hidden from the world community for 40 years. The astronauts of the Apollo missions discovered architectural and technological traces of an ancient civilization on the moon and photographed them. In addition, the astronauts discovered a previously unknown technology for controlling gravity Perhaps they have mastered the technology of anti-gravity. Ken Johnson told how his superiors at NASA ordered him to destroy these images during the Apollo program, but he kept them against orders. Johnson showed the press to the, some of these photos. They depict evidence of an extraterrestrial civilization. What did the startled journalists see? The footage showed the ruins of cities, huge spherical objects made of glass, stone towers and castles that hung in the air, and even the head of a robot. According to Johnson, the Americans brought something to Earth that NASA had kept secret for a generation. 
There have indeed been several discoveries on the moon that have baffled geologists, including the discovery of an orange glass pyramid, orange glass pyramid, the origin of which still cannot be explained. There must have been something else found that we don't know about. After this conference, other whistleblowers in the ranks of NASA published many of the same revealing lunar images on various sites of the space agency. These are photos with excellent resolution. Thanks to the internet, people all over the world, including ordinary citizens, were able to see these amazing pictures completely unhindered. So has NASA been hiding the real moon all this time? After this sensational press conference, an interview with NASA consultant, founder, and chief researcher of the Enterprise Mission Organization, Richard Hoagland, he acted as a scientific consultant for CBS News at the NASA Jet Engine Laboratory during the Apollo 11 mission, jo uh, Richard Hoagland appeared. It was he, along with Johnson, who released this secret data. Here is his opinion about the discovered civilization. He said, I believe that the Apollo project confirmed the existence of an amazing, ancient, but still human civilization on the moon. Our ancestors laid it down. It's scary to think in which knee. Now, but we have been able to release only a small part of the information that NASA has received about an ancient, long lost human civilization, which indicates that man once inhabited the entire solar system. And this, of course, also goes again with what the Emerald Tablets and the Atlantean Thoth said, and also the ancient Greeks, that they, they were having, they had interstellar travel. Now, what happened to the, uh, or what exists concerning the atmosphere of these planets is something we don't know about. Now, this is, is going to the article. This is evidenced by data obtained from Mars. There are also classified by NASA. Are you asking if the ruins of the new Atlantis have been found on the moon? Well, to begin with, I think it would be more correct to say old Atlantis. Now, the advanced science of that civilization made it possible to travel from Earth to the moon thousands of years ago and build structures therefrom, a material that resembles glass, this can be judged from the published materials. After all, there is an ancient Egyptian myth about the god of wisdom, Thoth, that's Thoth the Atlantean who wrote the Emerald Tablets, and you can find it in my playlist on the Emerald Tablets, who supposedly descended from the moon and taught man language, writing architecture, and so on. To confirm the veracity of the theory of the existence of a civilization on the moon or to refute it is possible only together by combining the efforts of several countries, it's necessary to go to the moon as a joint exposition. Now, what technologies were used on the moon? Johnston and Hoagland wrote and published the book Dark Mission, The Secret History of NASA, trying to introduce the whole world to the real story that awaits everyone on the moon. They write that some of the technologies found on the moon indicate a high level of development of technical thought. The Soviet Union sent an all-terrain vehicle to the moon, which also took pictures of an ancient civilization, but after a thorough analysis, they were classified. Thus, information about the existence of ruins and buildings built by an extraterrestrial civilization, as well as technologies, and all this can be found not only on the moon, but also in other worlds similar within the solar system, for example, Mars, was hidden not only by NASA, but also by the Soviet government. Not only uh, Moon and Mars, but also Venus Now uh, have, uh, has been found to have uh, structures. Now, there was even an effective spread of information, the opinion that Americans had never been on the Moon, and the episode with the landing of American astronaut was uh, filmed by a fil uh, film studio that is a lie. Based on NASA's evidence and analysis, the authors of the book are convinced that this rumor is actually deliberate military disinformation. It's designed to hide what NASA actually found on the moon and brought back to Earth. This was in July 1969, when the first astronauts were returning from the moon. Based on what they saw with their own eyes, they are sure that the beginning of that lie, we have never been on the moon, was laid by NASA itself. Now, what NASA really found on the moon it was a kind of insurance so that no one would ever ask the terrible question, what NASA really found on the moon? The authors believe that the creation of the myth of the moon provided NASA with confidence that it will continue to be able to hide everything related to the failed program to study the moon. 
hide the that the astronauts were given secret assignments to report on all priceless ancient extraterrestrial technology samples of which were found there some researchers including richard hoagland believed that an alien race once used the moon as a transit base in the course of their activities on earth their guesses are confirmed by the legends and myths of different peoples of our planet many kilometers of ruins of lunar cities huge transparent domes on massive bases various tunnels and other structures for scientists to reconsider their views on the problems associated with our natural satellite the moon the origin of the moon and the features of its motion relative to the earth is another big question for science scientists say it is such a an enigma that the moon shouldn't be there now some partially destroyed objects on the surface of the moon cannot be attributed to natural geological formations they have a complex organization and geometric geometric structure in the upper part of the rima Hadley area near the landing site of Apollo 15, a structure surrounded by a high wall in the form of a letter D. Currently, there are 44 known areas of the moon where various artifacts have been found. They are being studied by specialists from the Space Information Bank Center, the Goodar Space Flight Center, and the Planetary Institute in Houston. In the area of the Tycho Crater, Tycho Crater, mysterious terrace-like workings of rocky soil were discovered. The concentric hexagonal workings of the presence of a lunar entrance on the slope of the terrace are difficult to explain by natural geological processes. It's more like an open pit mining operation. In the area of the Copernicus crater, a transparent dome is seen rising above the edge of the crater shaft. The dome has a huge, a strange feature. It shines from the inside with a blue-white light. In the upper part of the factory area, there is a very unusual object, even by lunar standards, on a square base surrounded by walls in the form of a rhombus. There is a well-known disk with a diameter of about 50 meters with a dome on top of it. And next to it, the, the image shows a dark circular opening the ground, similar to the entrance to an underground caponiere. Between the Copernicus crater and the factory area is a perfectly regular rectangular area measuring 30, 300 by 400 meters. The Apollo 10 astronauts took a unique image, AS 10 of a one mile wide object called the castle, which hangs at an altitude of 14 kilometers and casts a clear shadow on the surface of the moon. It looks like it consists of several cylindrical blocks and a large binding unit. One of the photos of the hanging castle, quote unquote, shows its internal cellular structure, creating the impression of transparency of individual blocks of the object. During the briefing, which was attended by many scientists from NASA, it turned out that when Richard Hoagland again requested the original photos of the castle in the NASA archive, they were not there. They even disappeared from the list of photographs taken by the crew of Apollo 10. In the archive, there are only intermediate photos of this object in which its internal structure is not visible. The crew of Apollo 12, after reaching the surface of the moon, suddenly discovered that their landing took place under the control of a translucent pyramid-shaped object. It hung just a few meters above the surface of the moon, shimmering with all the colors of the rainbow against the black velvet of the lunar sky. During the briefing, which was attended by many scientists from NASA, it turned out that when Richard Hoagland again requested the original photos of the castle in the NASA archives, they were not there. They even disappeared from the list. Uh, they were only intermediate photos. Now, the crew of Apollo 12, after reaching the surface, suddenly, suddenly discovered their landing took place under control of a translucent pyramid-shaped object. In 1969, after watching the film of astronauts on their journey to the Sea of Storms, that where they again managed to see these strange objects, later called striped glasses, quote-unquote, NASA finally assessed the possible consequences of such control. Astronaut Mitchell, answering the question of the correspondent, how do you feel after the safe return, said, I still have a neck ache from having to constantly turn my head because we literally felt that we were not alone there. I could only pray. Johnston, who worked at the Houston Space Center, working with other specialists to study the photo, 
and video information obtained during the implementation of the Apollo program discussing lunar artifacts with Richard Hoagland. He noted that NASA management is very annoyed with such a large number of anomalous, to put it mildly, objects on the moon. The program was always teetering on the verge of canceling manned flights to the moon. The situation was always also warmed up by the film of the Apollo 14 crew from which many fragments were cut out. Of particular interest to researchers are recent structures that look like partially destroyed cities. The orbital survey shows a surprisingly regular geometry of rectangular and square structures from the height of 5 to 8 kilometers. They resemble the view of our cities. One of the mission control specialists commented on the images as follows. Our guys watching from orbit the ruins of ancient cities of the moon, transparent pyramids, domes, and God knows what else, hidden now in the safes of not only NASA, we felt like Robinson Crusoe having stumbled upon the footprints of a bare human feet on the wet sand of an uninhabited island. So what conclusions do geologists and planetary scientists come to when studying images of the ruins of lunar cities and other anomalous objects? In their opinion, they cannot be natural formations. We must recognize their artificial origin, as for the domes and pyramids, even more so. The intellectual activity of an ancient alien civilization appeared unexpectedly close to us. Psychologically, we are not ready for this, and even now, many people perceive it with difficulty. Sources, the ubernews.com, it's on humans are free. Please...